All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Ben the Bane Davis here. Talking about some breaking news. We've got some updates on former UFC light heavyweight champ Jamal Hill uh, in his domestic violence suit. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Um, I'm going to give you a brief overview on the whole story so far. Here's from Brett Akamoto. This is December 1st. Um, Ex-UFC champ Jamal Hill arrested on domestic violence charge. So in a Thanksgiving argument Jamal Hill and his older brother James went at it there wasn't a lot of information known other than Hill was booked into jail in Grand Rapids Michigan at around 1 in the morning uh, charged with misdemeanor aggravated domestic violence a lot of people took this story and completely blew it out of proportion um, citing that oh it's it's against his partner or a girlfriend wife uh, fiance, unsure exactly what his relationship status is, but people were saying, oh my God, look at this. It's another fighter taking out and beating uh, his girl. That's not what happened at all. It was an argument with his brother. And when we look at the details of it here, this is by MMA Junkie, when Jamal, all right, cool, we're getting some ads. Uh, Jamal speaks out on the domestic violence case involving his brother. Here we get some clarification about the argument. He was back in Michigan visiting for the holidays. Hill says, at this time, it's still my case. I've been advised not to speak on it, which I know not to speak on it. I just can't wait for the truth to be told in court. So remember this, can't wait for the truth to be told in court. Can't wait for that day. Look forward to that day. The people who know me and my character and truly rock with me know who I am. Hold on to that and stay true to that. That's all I'm going to say. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where was... Okay, so I guess this wasn't... This wasn't the article. Here it is. This is from TMZ, which I don't really rate as like a credible news <laughs> outlet. So take this article with a bit of a grain of salt. But UFC's Jamal Hill offered plea deal in domestic violence case. So this came out today. This was, uh, I believe, earlier last night, maybe, or like right at, at, at midnight. This story was uh, broken. So offered a plea deal in domestic violence case. Prosecutors extended the deal earlier in the month. And it would be one charge of domestic violence, so that dismisses the aggress ag aggravated domestic violence charge, um, which they initially had back in November. The full story, which, again, hasn't been corroborated by Jamal and his attorneys, as they have not made a comment, um, is that the MMA fighter roughed up his brother, James Hill Jr., in Kent, Michigan, following a series of arguments that they'd gotten into over Thanksgiving weekend. Cops say that James uh, told... Them that Jamal sucker punched him with a close fist before hitting him a second time. Court documents uh, have a swollen face and a missing tooth on James. So evidence, obviously, that there was some physical altercation. But the only thing that we have from Jamal is, again, a continuation of, I just can't wait for the truth to be told in court, and I will wait for that day, and I look forward to that day. So we've got an update, but it's not exactly a, a massive one or any clarification from Jamal. I'm curious to know... His thoughts on this, right, the plea deal and, and uh, you know, what that means to him and if we will get the truth in court or if there will be some more clarification. I'm just not sure, but that's the update that we have. This was a huge story way back in December that I think people really misconstrued. When we hear domestic violence, especially with fighters, you have such a conflation of, oh, it's the wife or girl or partner. Uh, but in this case, it was just between brothers. Not saying that that makes it like significantly better. Obviously, um, you know, physically coming to blows with a family member isn't great, especially when you are a UFC light heavyweight champion. <laughs> I mean, talk about like the worst person to be opposite you in any kind of uh, physical altercation, a, a number one in the world fighter. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting for some more clarification, but that is the biggest update we've gotten. In a minute, I haven't really seen many updates about this case, and I've been curious because, um, you know, one of the things that Jamal's maintained is the people that know me know that this isn't, you know, who I am, and um, I think it is important to, you know, contextualize how this story was spun out into a, a, a different a different tone and a different light than it was. Um, and again, I mean, still bad, still not great, and uh, still would love the full story on what went down between James and Jamal, and if there is going to be another court date, if, um, you know, he accepted 
yeah, Hill is expected to make a decision on the offer by a court hearing in March. So we don't have the exact date in March on when he's either going to accept it or um, not plead guilty. But one charge of domestic violence, that is currently the best update we've got on the um, Jamal Hill domestic violence case. The plea deal, will he take it? Will he not? Will we get more information? The truth in court, as Jamal says, uh, he can't wait for that day. Should be sometime in March. So the wait is about a month and change before maybe we'll get some more updates on it. But I was just curious what you guys thought about this and uh, the whole situation in and of itself. A pretty high-profile athlete having this go on. It's covered by ESPN, all of the big outlets, TMZ. Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting time for Jamal Hill. Obviously, he's out of competition, so we can't talk about his in-ring performances or endeavors. Um, at the moment, all we've got is this un really unfortunate scenario and just hoping that everybody involved gets you know the the treatment warranted that they deserve and everybody um you know can uh move forward it's tough because it's between family members and that's got to be unbelievably difficult and and sad you know i'm i'm thinking of you know if me and my brother got into some physical altercation like this and not only is it covered by so many news outlets but now we're in court against each other and it's a domestic violence case and um you know who knows what write the fines or, or whatever else is going to come with it so i don't know i mean i just hope for his family's sake that this is something that uh you know we can get to and, and move past so wishing them the best let me know your comments and i'll see you guys in the next one